Okay, so I was planning on taking the rest of the year off, but I have to talk about the murder of trans activist Julie Berman. I just threw this script together so it'll not be as polished or as fun as my usual videos. This is the second one this month I've had to do by the seat of my pants, the other being the abortion bill in Ohio. It's almost as if the world's a terrible place. Early last week, trans activist Julie Berman was discovered with serious injuries to her head in her Toronto home. She was found by police and taken to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Her murder highlights the increased violence the trans community faces. Ironically, just over two years ago at the Trans Day of Remembrance in 2017, Julie talked about a friend of hers that had also been murdered. These are not isolated events. The trans community faces increased violence and discrimination just because they don't fall into neat little boxes that society has put in place for the majority. Often the trans community feel they can't even turn to police for protection since almost a quarter of them reported being harassed by the police themselves. The presumed assailant has been taken into custody, and so far no details have been released as to the motive or reasons behind this attack. Since the attack appears to have happened in Julie's home, my guess is it was a premeditated attack since she was an outspoken member of the trans community, or the old trans panic defense will come into play, where the masculinity of Julie's assailant was threatened when he found out she was a trans woman. Neither of these are acceptable, but we'll see what happens when the investigation continues. I've been asked why I make videos supporting LGBT rights and responding to those who want to deny them their humanity. This is exactly why. The hatred and vitriol that trans people face can be traced back to reasonable people just asking questions, and seeing that trans people should have less value or should not be given the same rights as the rest of society. These people feel like they're the victims because they're being forced to share the planet with a minority whose existence makes them feel uncomfortable. Vocal anti-trans rhetoric like that gives license to bigger harms like Julie's attack. As some of my followers know, my daughter recently came out as trans, and every time she goes out, part of me worries. If an attack like Julie's happened in liberal Ontario, which is much more open-minded than the redneck North province we're living in, what could happen here? I have tried to be a good ally to the trans community even before my daughter came out. I hope my past videos have shown that. And I've been called out on my ignorance on more than one occasion. But the fact of the matter is, people are being threatened and told they have less, if not no, worth because of who they are. If you don't like that transgender people exist, fine. You're allowed to be small-minded bigots. That's your problem. But the second you use that bigotry to harm or prevent anybody from living their lives, congratulations, you're the monster in this situation. Let people live how they want to live. As long as they aren't harming anybody, people should be allowed to live in peace. The fact that this isn't happening and that trans people are targeted at a higher rate than their cis counterparts is, quite frankly, a travesty.